Moving through today, we have got a cold start out there. We've got mostly a dry start, so it does look different than yesterday. However, I want to point out that yesterday we didn't get above freezing. So I think that a lot of that ice that was around yesterday, it's still around, unless it got treated, of course. But I do expect that there's some slick spots, certainly, that we're able to live on with this very cold setup. Right now, though, the clouds are around, and speaking of ice living on, you can see the view from our Fort Worth camera. It's glazed over still with that thin layer of ice. Temperature coming in from DFW Airport 24, feeling like 10 degrees. We've got a north wind at 18 miles per hour, so a breeze that is really going to be biting as we move on through the day today. The numbers coming in, 25 Mesquite, 23 around McKinney. We've got Decatur, 22, Burleson at 25. Feels like temperatures, of course, are going to be the name of the game the next several days. Right now, feeling like 10 up in Decatur. We've got an 8 degree, feels like temperature from Fort Worth, and it feels like 9 around Collin County. So. Those heavy layers are going to be essential as we go on, not just through this morning, but even into the afternoon. Those clouds will stay heavy. Temperatures only topping out around 30, so it does look like we stay just below freezing as we move on through this afternoon. Fast forward into tonight, we're going to see almost the same kind of setup as far as temperatures go low to mid 20s. So we're still not seeing the coldest air that we will eventually see as the weekend wears on. Let's talk about the precipitation that we've got in the forecast. So for the day Saturday, we're going to be watching especially west of I-35 for some spotty areas of winter mix. Likely some freezing drizzle in that mix. Uh, so just keep that in mind in the early hours in particular. Once we get into the late afternoon and evening hours, we've still got an opportunity to see some winter mix. And I think this would be even more some sleet and even some snow. You can see at midnight tomorrow night, some of that snow back out to the west. So it looks like late Saturday night into early Sunday, we're already talking about the potential for some light snow moving in. It's not a one-day deal. This is quite the wild forecast, certainly for North Texas, when you think about having multiple days to see winter precipitation and multiple days to see snow potential. And that's the case Sunday, Monday, and again on Wednesday. I know it's unbelievable to think about. But what we're going to be dealing with with the first true opportunity for that snow is really a storm system that's going to be rolling out of the Rockies. This is late Saturday into Sunday. You can see as we move on through the late day period, we're seeing those snow showers develop to the west and then spread east. Looking at this, I think that this event wraps up fairly quickly on Monday. So I think once we get past Monday morning, we are wrapping that particular event up for a little bit of a dry break. By the way, we could see at least three inches of snow out of that Sunday to Monday event, so we're going to keep an eye on those potential numbers for you. And then again, on Wednesday, more snow in the forecast.